Hey guys, Derek here with The Closet Doctor and we're waiting on a customer to show up so we can get in and do our work. Um, but while I'm waiting, I'm gonna give you a walkthrough of our garage cabinet trailer while I've got it all loaded here so you can see what we've got. So we had this trailer about 10 years ago, custom built. Inside we have eight foot six in height and that allows us to bring in and stand up our cabinets that are 91 inches tall in there. And so we don't have to lay anything down uh, we've got, uh, what is it, E-Track uh, on the walls so everything straps in in place. Uh, so cabinets in the front and then all of our adjustable shelves go on uh, these roll around carts. They've got, we used to strap them in but we just put these pins in here. Let me see if I can pull it out easily here. Anyways, we got a pin doing it left handed but this pin just pulls out. We roll the carts in, it's color coded. Uh, shelf cart goes on this side. All of our doors are in this cart here. Same thing, pin system on there. We load them on here, face up. So we put the hinges in, take them off, snap them on the cabinet. So nice setup there. And then this is our installation cart that we wheel in. Once again, it's set up, it's on pins as well. This is all stuff we just made in house. Uh, the cart is off a U-line, it's a metal cart, three levels there. And uh, so we've got our hinges up top. The nice thing about the hinges is this bucket here, it pulls out and it sits right on top of the handle of the cart when we're in the garage. We put the, we pull the hinges out, put them on the door, snap them in place. Also notice everything's color coded in here. Uh, on this guy here, we've got our screws, shelf pins, everything that we need, drill holders, hole saws, uh, this over here, we put our, we've got a little clipboard holder and that's where we put our plans so where we can see everything to that. And then our jacks go in on the bottom, handles for the jacks, hammer, every, pretty much everything we need, even the broom and the garbage can right here. So when we're working, this is right by us. And then on the wall, we have our cabinet lift and we just moved everything around, but normally this is all outlined. So the base of the cabinet lift, the cabinet lift itself, and then we've got two different length poles for doing upper cabinets. So that's our garage cabinet trailer. Everything we need to do an install is in here, uh, color coded, ready to roll. So we're gonna roll out here and do an install. I'll show you some of this uh, while we're working so you can see how it works. A little bit today, but this is Matt going down the, the ramp with the garage cabinet car. You can see that, so we've got everything. It's on there, it's gonna wheel right into the garage here that we're working. So we're in the garage getting ready to hang our first cabinet in this corner. We've got all of our tools here that we're going to use. So we're going to do some uppers and we've got our cabinet lift affectionately known as Jackie Chan. We are uh, pulling him off. We're going to assemble him in here. He's all dialed in. We, we've got marks on it where to put it, when to put the bolt in. When you put it together, arrows go together. Single arrow on one side, double arrow on the other side. This is the long pole. Same thing up here, so it makes it really simple. I'm gonna lift this off, wheel it into the house. Okay, we got the lift in the house. We got a upper that's going above a fridge. Matt's doing layout. Nice thing about this is when you're doing these small cabinets, we can put it on the lift, have it in the orientation where it needs to go and not be bending over on the floor, so it works really nice. Okay, this started out as a trailer tour and it's turned into, hey, how we install stuff in, in the shop. One thing I wanna tell you is we figured out in the old days, we would, we'd come and we'd pull all the cabinets out of the trailer and we'd bring them all in the garage and get them kind of where that they need to be. And then they'd be in the way and we'd be moving stuff. Now we do one piece flow. We bring in one cabinet at a time, hang that cabinet, bring in the, ne the next cabinet, the next cabinet and the next cabinet. And that way we only handle that cabinet once. It's not the way we've got room to work. So. Uh, we keep everything in the trailer until we need it. Good one piece flow. Another great tool that we've got for our garage cabinets is this blue dolly. Can't normally find this anywhere, but like moving places. And so it's got the extra wheels on it, folds down on about a 45 degree angle. So you can wheel these big cabinets in and you don't have to balance them. Here's a little bit more on this dolly. So it's blue, it's all steel. It's got nice heavy duty wheels on. Checked on Amazon, I didn't see anything on it. This one I got from, uh, Moving supply, I wanna say it's CTS, CVS moving supply or something like that. So it works as a normal dolly and then you flip this guy here. The back comes out and this flips into place and then it folds down 
it can also, also has this guy here and can actually fold up and lay completely flat as well. We never use it for that, but uh, I've got two of these. I've probably had them for 15 years. They're awesome dollies. Okay, so we started on this job about an hour and a half ago, and we're just putting the last cabinet on the wall. Uh, our cabinets are mounted to the wall. Let's see where I can zoom in. To the wall up off the floor. And so what we have is these are motorcycle jacks uh, that we use, they're a scissor jack. And we, so we set the cabinet on those, level them, screw the cabinets together, and then screw everything together as one. Cart has just, as we've moved along, it's just wheeled down and stayed right in front of where we're working one step at the max to anywhere that we're going. Cabinets are all now in. Matt is putting in our shelf pins in all of our cabinets. We kind of have a standard layout that we do. I'm gonna pull over here and we're gonna open up our shelf uh, cart. Is what we've got here, we've got ratchet straps on this. And to simplify things, we bought the kind that hook onto the underside of a bed and we just welded these in place. So these straps stay with the cart very simple. Before we had three different ways to strap it up. People spent a whole lot of time on it. So now we just take the cart. Once again, one hand in this stuff. Undo the strap and pull it out of the way. And then we're ready to pull our shelves off and put them on. Okay, we're just finishing up here. So we're about an hour and a half, or excuse me, two and a half hours into this job. We're all done. All we got left is just to wipe out uh, everything. But, uh, Got our cart now, everything goes back on the cart. We can check that and then roll it back into the trailer and we'll pack up and be out of here. But about a $6,000 job in two and a half hours uh, with two guys on the job. So you got the full tour of the garage uh, cabinet trailer and a little bit of how we install. If you got any questions, uh, hit them up in the comments and I'll answer them as I can.